Concur, right on the dot. Okay, then I'll let you That's late. Say it's seven. I will say it's seven. I'll call this meeting to order. Uh, this is the Breezy Point City Council for Monday, February 3rd, 2020. Uh, first order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, welcome, everybody. Uh, the first thing we want to go over is the consent agenda. You have before you the uh, council minutes for January 6, 2020. We have the approval of claims totaling $65,530.52, which includes electronic checks 2473E through 2474E and electronic check 2480E and paper checks 135736 through 135772 and 135774 through 135880. And we also have the uh, forfeiture of a uh, Ford F-150 that was seized as part of a, a drug arrest. Um, and that will be going out for uh, uh, bids. <coughs> Is there anything that anybody would like to have pulled off the consent agenda and, and discussed separately. Gary? No, sir. Rebecca? No. Michael? Nothing. Is anybody from the public would like to have anything pulled off and discussed separately? Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, I will entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. Go so, move. Second? Second the one. Okay. Uh, all those in favor of approving the consent agenda as written, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Consent agenda is approved. Next item is open forum. Anybody wishing to come before the city council and speak to uh, uh, any topic uh, can do so at this time. Please come to the podium, state your name and hmm. address. And I hope I can get through this. I know. Yeah, you will. Take a deep breath. Come on. Mitt, most of you know look at my health for but I want to thank Jason Ryder mm. and the fire department for their excellent work. Jason went way above and beyond. <clears throat> he made Jim get out of the house. He wouldn't come when I was screaming. Jason got him out. And then Jason stayed with us. And um, I was sent away for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and later that night, Jason knew where we were staying, and he had gone in the house after the fire, sought out my purse. I hadn't asked for that. He just did it on his own, and he had brought a box that I had dragged out of the house that had, like, birth certificates, etc., <clears throat> and brought that to me. And I appreciate it so much that he went above and beyond hmm. for me. And the firefighters, I'm told by the contractor who looked at the house, that um, it, was a huge, it was huge fire potential to even bigger, but that they had done, quote, a hell of a job containing it where they did. Um, the house is going to have to come totally down, and uh, hopefully in a little over a year we'll be back in our neighborhood. Very good. But the guys were very good. All the departments, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you. Just for people's edification, Diane Williams is a former city council member and um, has been in. Yeah, that's okay. We know who you are. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get it in the record. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. And uh, uh, I have long preached that we have a, a police department and we have such good services here in Breezy Point that this is unfortunately not an unusual event to have the police go over and over and above what yeah. is essentially required. They do such a good job and we are so fortunate and blessed to have a police department like we do. Anybody else wishing to come forward? 
That being, I'll close uh, open forum. <clears throat> Next item is uh, Mayor and City Council reports. Um, I did uh, mm. attend the uh, uh, the follow-up meeting on our VRBO issue with the counts with the uh, county, uh, and basically it was big nothing burger, uh, <laughs> and there was no decisions made yet. It's uh, uh, they're having a. Uh, a group that's put together to uh, review the uh, the wording and stuff of the proposed council or the proposed uh, proposed ordinance, and uh, so I suspect this is going to be going on for for quite a while. Um, so no decision yet. Uh, next item uh, on Wednesday we attended the fire board, which was the uh, <coughs> we received the annual report. There was a total of uh, 80 fire calls that were. Uh, uh, responded to by the uh, Pequot Lakes Fire Department, and uh, it was equally equally split, 27 each for Pequot Lakes and Breezy Point. Um, it was a little bit little bit up this year, so uh, about all you can say about that. It was a, it was a mixture. Um, the other thing that we did talk about at the fire board is make sure that your fire numbers. The, your address numbers uh, are uncovered because with all the snow that's been piling up, a lot of these uh, signs are getting covered up. You can't see them. Um, it's not so much for the fire department because our fire, the Pequot Lakes Fire Department has a, a GIS system that gets you right to the address real quickly. Um, they don't necessarily need to see the fire number because it's pretty accurate, uh, but it's going to be for the police and emergency services that would uh, be looking for that number. So we want to make sure that those, those get uncovered. And with everything freezing, it's uh, uh, pretty hard to get them uncovered. I know I had to do mine and my neighbors uh, both, and uh, that was quite a task. Uh, last thing I'd like to talk about is the um, uh, last year's building uh, we had 26 new dwelling units for a total value of a little over $9 million built last year. And we had uh, uh, residential remodelings and stuff uh, adding up to over a million, as well as various other things going on for a total of $11 million, uh, a little over $11 million invested in the community. Um, we're a growing community, and uh, uh, it's, <coughs> excuse me, it's, uh, really exciting to see all that uh, activity going on. Um, and that is basically what I have. Uh, council members, Gary, anything? No, sir. Rebecca, anything? No. Michael? Nothing for council. Okay. Committee reports. Um, road committee, Michael? Yes, the road committee, uh, we, as you know, we are in discussions right now to talk about Bushman Road. Um, Breezy Point uh, Road Committee met with Ideal, Jenkins, and Pequot, along with the county engineer um, regarding Bushman. Um, again, the concept is to potentially upgrade it to county standards for the county to take over. Uh, the county engineer has expressed interest in updating it to county state aid highway requirements, which does put some more dollars to it to be uh, up to those standards. Um, the county has volunteered assistance in the project. Um, they have dedicated a, a staff to help us if need be and are helping write the RFP for us to go and start looking at the project here. Um, so we're making some progress. Um, it is definitely a marathon, not a sprint, so this is going to be a, a long process, but we are going to work through it uh, with our adjoining uh, communities, and we'll get through it. I think the issue on Bushman Road has been going on as long as I've been here, so. It's been a while. In fact, before I got here. So mm -hmm. it'll, be, it'll be a while. Okay. Um, administrator and staff reports. Um, Chief, you want to talk about the uh, uh, Pelican Township uh, uh, services request or contract? Yeah, we've been doing this for quite a few years now. It's working out very well. Um, I guess 2000 is when we started. 
Um, they seem to be very happy with our services, and uh, uh, it's it's working very well, and it uh, obviously offsets uh, a lot of our mm -hmm. our costs. So I think it's a uh, positive uh, impact for Breezy Point. I only noticed just a couple <clears throat> sidebars in there as far as were those changes to this contract from previous or? Uh, the only changes would be the uh, the amounts oh, and the okay. dates. Okay. <laughs> um, anybody have any questions for the chief on these? Otherwise, I'll entertain a motion to approve the uh, uh, contract. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Further discussion? Michael? None. Rebecca? No. Gary? None. All those in favor of approving the contract for Pelican Township Police Services, please say aye. 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 Contract is approved. Um, city engineer, uh, we have a contract for or a request for white birch pay uh, request and cost sharing agreement with CWC. Um, do you want to fill us in on that, please? Yeah, on the uh, um, white birch project pay application. Normally, we end the year last year with a final payout. Uh, the subcontractor requested to get paid for the small amount of bituminous he put. Down okay. six thousand dollars, so I wrote another G, uh, pay application for that third pay application. Okay. Pretty straightforward. They mm -hmm. have the money coming. Um, the cost share agreement. That is the agreement with the county. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, would you would the uh, so. request that the uh, council approve the the application for? Okay. So I'll entertain a motion to uh, pay the, what was it, $6,000? $6,373.59. Second. Second. Further discussion? Gary? None. Rebecca? No. Michael? None. Uh, those in favor of the uh, uh, paying the white birch uh, pay request, please say aye. Aye. Okay. Next item is cost share agreement with Crow Wing County. Yeah, the cost share agreement with Crow Wing County also will take some action. Um, I uh, sent a letter uh, after reviewing the cost share agreement from Crowing County for the uh, Osmoni fee and, and uh, Graff and Sunset Road reconstruction work and uh, uh, full depth rec reclamation. Um, they, <coughs> in doing so, they take on some of the engineering and some of the construction engineering. Uh, we did some other additional <coughs> work on draft and then sunset they did not want to deal with that part of it so we incorporated that we did the engineering on that that's uh, added to the plants I have a plan so that we see them um, with the assessments we also made sure that they're following the same bidding process that we would need to do Okay. So that we meet the uh, criteria for 429, and they are. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'd recommend uh, accepting the cost share agreement with Crow Wing County. And uh, our cost share on this will be the 137,866? Yeah, the estimated. Estimated, that's, yeah. That's estimated at this time is the 137,866.93. Uh, that's based on their original their estimate. estimate. I went through okay. the numbers, and they seemed all reasonable. And then I made some changes on the sunset of the graph uh, that came in about what the okay. original <laughs> estimate was too. So the engineering and uh, cost and construction costs were nine thousand nine thousand four hundred fifty nine sixty three estimated, and they based it on a ten percent for the Osmowinicky, okay, and then three percent on sunset and uh, graph due to the administration work they do. So okay. Mm. Uh, so I will uh, entertain a motion to uh, enter into the cost sharing agreement with Crow Wing County for the Asa Winnemakee uh, road work. So moved. Second. Second. Anything further, Gary? No. Any questions? No. Rebecca? No. No. Michael? None. All those in favor of entering into the cost share agreement with Crow Wing County, please say aye. 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 The <clears throat> cost share agreement is approved. Uh, next item is the. Uh, I'm, so, I'm Just sorry. Just an FYI to follow up on that. Um, the advertisement for bids will be fe February 7th. February 7th. <laughs> and uh, they will have bids, open bids on March 4th. 
at that time that we'll be able to look at them. Okay. So I imagine that we'll be doing, the county will approve, will do approval on March 10th. Okay. Um, which would put us in April 6th meeting, council meeting, for a resolution to accept the bids if we Okay. So now, how is this working with uh, 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 Ideal Township as far as the bids coming to them as well, or how is that? Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll look at everything in the same process. Okay. Um, the same time frame? They don't, yeah, everything will be in conjunction. Okay. Um, they do not, however, I don't think they're doing assessments on there, so they might have right. a little less process to go. Yeah. We'll just have to make sure that if we're going to continue through that we kind of follow the process so that we'll come into construction <laughs> season with everything approved. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Um, next item is um, setting the uh, uh, Board of Equalization uh, date. Uh, these dates are essentially picked by the uh, uh, Crowing County Land Services um, because they have to do the same thing for multiple uh, uh, municipalities. And so there's the uh, table that you can see that's next few pages down 33. Uh, that's basically what we have to choose and becomes essentially we get assigned a date and that <coughs> date for us is April 15th 2020 at 10 a.m. So I'll entertain a motion to hold our Board of Equalization, equalization on Wednesday April 15th at uh, 10 a.m. So moved. Is there a second? Somebody I'll, second, please. I'll second it. Okay. I don't want to be there. <laughs> yes. I, vote I know. No. No. You're not allowed to vote no. I know. I have spoken. I have uh, first first for the discussion, Gary? None. Okay, Rebecca? <laughs> no. Okay. Michael? I may have a conflict that day that may not uh, right. want me to be there. Yep. Okay. I'll be there for you. There you go. Me too. Okay, all those in favor of setting the date for April 15th at 10 a.m., please say aye. 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 The, the date is set. Um, yes? Just a reminder, we have to have one of the three trained people to be there. Right. And so that means we have to have Corman and Rebecca, Gary, and Gary Mitchell. Yep, Those right. Training, so. Yep. Um, next item is uh, the City Hall sign follow-up. Um, the You have a uh, handout from uh, Patrick. Uh, the ink is barely dry on this thing mm -hmm. um, because we have been basically collecting information up until the very last minute. And uh, Patrick, I wanted you to uh, fill us in on this. So the handout tonight that I have, and I have a, one more extra if people put some out there, but um, it's been a process. We started with the budgetary process. We shared it with the City Council back in January meeting. Council directed staff to go for the larger sign um, with the higher number of pixels and uh, that costs more. Mm -hmm. uh, so with the dynamic sign, the plastic lettering all from RHL, their cost is 25,000. Electrical, um, Evergreen Electrical for 2,700 to bring electricity to that site and then um, of the low bidders we had for the block, stone, and woodwork, Johnson Landscaping came in the least at 23000 That was a very close bid. I mean, it was literally $1,200 apart. So um, we knew we felt we had good bids. Um, we did have con conversations with both of the bidders, or there were several other bidders too. Mm -hmm. but, so that is for the um, block, the stone, um, wood sign work painting the log sign, and the real stone versus the uh, artificial stone. And there's a variety of reasons for all that, but we do feel that the, the sign will be up there for quite a bit of time and we don't want to have to replace it. Mm -hmm. The only thing we did not include, so that, by the way, that total comes to $50,750. The only thing we did not include at this time is additional lighting. One of the, the bidders had bid that. Unfortunately, they weren't the, the low bidder. But um, it's something we want to look at and continue. We could do it long term because it could be done after the fact. But what they're talking about is uh, offset lighting onto the, uh, the letters that will go on there that say city. Uh, I think on the second, third page, you'll see that Breezy Point City Hall. 
part of what I was thinking of waiting for, though, is um, the signs I've seen where these are at, they're quite bright. I'm not sure that that lighting will be necessary. Um, so, but we can talk about that in the future. So cool. included in your packet is the, the sign location. County would not give us the ability to go into their right of way. The sign itself, uh, 176 inches by 172 inches wide. And uh, the sign inside that would be the 10 millimeter. So that is an upgrade from what we had talked about the, the time before, but it will have the higher pixel count. The consultant uh, sold us on that that was the way to go in the long term. Uh, and I would note, I think last time I said, I don't remember the exact number, but it's about a 10 year lifespan. And these are two signs back to back for a total of that uh, $23,750. Yep. And I'll say Patrick and I did talk about the upgrade to the 10 millimeter. My own personal opinion is I think it'll give us a uh, sharper uh, image and it'll look a lot nicer. And I, so I'm sure, Michael, your comments on that or you like the 10 millimeter? Put me on the spot. Yeah, everybody likes the better, okay. the bigger and better. Um, and this is both sides. Yes. Patrick, can you tell me, I don't know, I'm sorry if we didn't open this. How do this communicate? How do we upload images? And wireless. It is wireless. Okay. Yep. We were still thinking of running an extra PVC tube over, so that just in case we want to run something in the future. We all will also have some electrical outlets there in case, because we don't have any lighting on this side of the uh, entrance. And so in case we decide to do lighting out this way, we'll have some plugins at least. Okay. Good questions. Okay, so I'll, Michael, I'll start with you. If you have any questions and stuff for Patrick. How much was bud budgeted again this year? 29000 I think that's all I have for questions at this okay. time. Okay, Rebecca, anything? No. Gary. None, I'm ready to make a motion. <laughs> I'll entertain a motion to uh, approve the, uh, the uh, contract for the sign. Please say aye. Or... <laughs> the motion is mine, and yep. I make okay. that motion. Okay. I'm reserving the right to talk about it after some okay. discussion. There's a second? I'll second. Okay. Gary, we'll lead you off. You always put me first. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank the administrator for the due diligence you did on this. It was an excellent project, and I want to share those same comments to the council. We looked at this very, very, very closely, and Mr. Narvison was ni nice enough to, to build one for us so we could look and see what it looks like some years back, and it's very pleased with that, but I personally am very proud of this city, and this makes this city stand out. And even though it is a little bit over budget, that's the cost of growing pains. Amen. Rebecca, comments? No, I don't have anything. Michael? I was going to try looking up, but our comp plan survey also um, identified that more communication to the public was, was asked for. Um, so this does give us a, a more visual viewpoint for passersby to communicate word of events, items happening. Um, things of that nature. So I think uh, in the long run, it will be used, uh, properly used, and I think there's going to be some good benefits out of it. And Patrick and I have talked about uh, yes. the budget and that kind of stuff as far, and we do have the money for it, which is, you know, one of the things we've got good financial uh, uh, operation here. So uh, we are, we're not going to be really strapped. Patrick? Yeah, one other thing in the comprehensive plan too, it did identify uh, one of the comments made by, or several of the comments from residents were that, where is City Hall? And so the idea was behind putting specifically Breezy Point City Hall on there was to bring attention to where City Hall is located too. Yep. That's why it will theoretically match the exterior roofing, that kind of situation. Mm. And then we'll have pictures of these city council members scrolling on a regular basis. <laughs> We but point with pride. If that's what we're directed to do, yes, we will. That's so, right. All those in favor of uh, 
moving forward with the sign, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Um, and that gets us to the end of the uh, uh, agenda items. Uh, I want to make sure that everybody knows that uh, the city hall will be closed on February 17th. Offices will be closed. Um, our next meeting is March 2nd. And very important, March 3rd will be our presidential primary. And so uh, make plans to be here for that. Library. Library. We're going to be, tile should start tomorrow. Oh, that's right, yes. For a week. So library will be closed. Yes. So we're going to be tearing apart that half of the, uh, the room over there, tearing up the tile and putting in new tile. So the, that includes the library and that whole room back there. So it's going to be a mess here for a few days. So... Stay away. <laughs> Meetings adjourned. Short meeting. Is that a record?